you can see all my hackathons and everything all the stickers right here the next machine which i bought and it was macbook pro 2020 model So in this video, I'm going to tell you what is the pro what is probably the best laptop that you can buy as a developer or a programmer. So let me start with the first laptop that I had. So it's a Dell laptop. It's an entry level laptop that I was uh, using, right? And it had actually 2 GB of RAM initially, but during start of my college, I increased the RAM to uh, like by 4 GB. So from 2 GB, it was 6 uh, GB of RAM and then it was like uh, okay to use but uh, otherwise like it's a slow laptop definitely I was able to use Android Studio in it I was actually able to make decent apps as well as publish them on Play Store so uh, it was workable the only thing is emulator will not work obviously in such a uh, 6 uh, GB RAM and i3 processor it was really if you turn on the emulator just assume that your half an hour will be wasted just in processing loading and it will lag a lot okay so you can't use emulator but yes uh, you can test your uh, you know but you can test your uh, android apps in your android device that was okay the second thing is visual studio was working fine on it the third thing is since i was uh, uh, working in a research field as well and i was uh, using python and machine learning a lot in my internships at triple it and also uh, python processing in aims funded project that i got i need to install the uh, anaconda navigator i was using the ipython notebooks here and it was also working fine no problem with it the only thing is it does lags at a time okay but it was usable definitely and the major problem is uh, still was the android studio because android studio was really uh, heavy for this device i could code there definitely but uh, I mean, sometimes it does lags, builds up, uh, takes time, generating APK takes time, but that's okay. I just wanted to use this laptop for my college life and you can see all my hackathons and everything, all the stickers right here. Okay, so I use this in my entire, uh, uh, you know, bachelor's B.Tech in computer science and engineering. So I use this laptop and it worked really well for me. So it's really very close to my heart. The second thing I wanted to say is, as soon as I got the job, my first job, I used uh, my first month's salary as well as uh, some of my internship savings uh, to buy a new laptop because it was not actually uh, working right for me. Uh, in, in fact, some of the things uh, stopped working like the speakers, the camera, multiple things stopped working in it. Eventually, I think it has aged out because I bought it when I was in uh, 11th class and it went all through my college and all so six around six and six and a half years it worked really well for me the point i want to share here is before buying your best machine you should you should see what are the constraints you have uh, financial wise also and what how you will utilize the laptop because in college you don't know what things you will develop so it's uh, not i'll not advise you to directly take a, a good laptops like macbook pro you can wait right and you can see what all things you want to develop how much faster laptop you want or in which domain you want to go because some people they start up uh, be taking computer science and engineering and they end up doing uh, you know mbas and iams or so uh, so the point here is you should know what uh, why you need a laptop uh, since i was like uh, totally into computer science doing a lot of uh, stuff around it and uh, that's the reason i used my first month salary as well as uh, some amount of money that i saved during my internships uh, to buy a new machine for me so it was uh, the uh, the next machine which i bought and it was macbook pro 2020 model so i bought this model because of the obvious reasons uh, it is actually faster my friend actually had a macbook pro so i tested his uh, laptop and it was pretty fast I can show you right now so it's like close in front of you if I just open it it will just turn up okay so here you go it turns up and I don't remember when I shut it down okay so it's like uh, I charge it I just uh, you know pull it down it goes to sleep I just open it up uh, scan my finger and there you go you will you can directly work on it so it is definitely I would say 10 to 20 times faster than the laptop that I was using it's really very fast 
So if I compare with my previous laptop, I am actually saving about uh, half an hour to one hour in this machine because I don't have to wait for Android Studio to build up. I don't have to wait for Android Studio to generate APKs. I don't have to wait when applications actually open up or even laptop actually opens up. And one more advantage I would say on the iOS system than Windows, it certainly doesn't say that uh, there is an update and you are forced to do that. Here, what happens is when you get an update, you get a notification. It depends on you, you want to cancel it or update it, right? So I just cancel it and I update it when I get time or uh, at night. I want to share one thing with this MacBook Pro. It was working really fine, but after eight months of buying it, after eight months of buying it, uh, this touch bar that you can see here, right? This touch bar of MacBook Pro, it stopped working. And I was like shocked that it's a pretty much, uh, you know, new product, like uh, six or eight months. Uh, it was like just six to eight months I bought this and it stopped working. So I was like, uh, you invest such a uh, money in the Apple product uh, to get to the quality, right? So I went to the store. Or, so he's, the person said that your whole uh, upper part of the body is to be replaced. So not just the touch bar, but including the keys in every part, the whole upper part will be replaced. So I was like shocked that it's a pretty much new laptop and uh, how this uh, this is possible. It was a bit shocking for me, but uh, I think uh, that's, that's also fine because they replaced it in no cost. So I, I don't have to pay a single penny for it because it was under one year warranty. Uh, and uh, now uh, it's been more than one year I am using it and it's working really fine. So I am still a bit disappointed why it failed initially after uh, you know six seven months. But uh, anyways, it is working fine for me right now. It is a very good machine I would say. And uh, and uh, I, I just uh, need the technologies that I am using in this machine. I use uh, Visual Studio. I use Android Studio. I use Anaconda Navigator. And I use these machines side by side. Sometimes I have to process a script in Python, it's running. And sometimes I'm uh, at the same time I'm using the Android Studio. Or at the same time I'm using uh, uh, some web app and I'm doing some work there. And I'm also looking at the Android app. Like, so, you know, when you work on a website and that same website has an Android app. So I'm uh, using them uh, side by side. I used it in one of the pro projects, Type 1 Diabetes, where I made the Android app as well as, well as the website. So. I, so in that case, I use your multiple softwares open at the same time. I have ran those softwares at the same times and they are super smooth on this machine. Here are a few of my suggestions. Uh, during your undergrad, I won't suggest you to uh, directly go to the uh, top in line laptops. Just uh, go for them when you are uh, good at, you know, uh, developing a lot of uh, stuff and you are definitely sure that this is something that you like and laptop is not able to pull up uh, that kind of uh, processing. So in that case, you can definitely go for a um, high level laptop. When you graduate from your college and you take a laptop, in that case, I would suggest to go for the uh, possibly the best laptop because that is the time your whole professional, initial professional life would be dependent on it. You might think of uh, working in a, a company and side by side working on a working on your own startup or working on your own research project or working on uh, something interesting on your own. In that case, you should have a powerful machine with you. So, and it will definitely go a longer time because as I told you, my earlier Dell laptop also uh, went for six years. So if that's the time you will use this laptop, I will definitely say to invest in this laptop rather than buying, uh, uh, you know, iPhones and uh, uh, iPads, those kind of machines because they are expensive and you can't actually code on it as comfortably. So laptop is a very good investment for a software engineer. So that is it regarding this video. Uh, video if you have any questions or queries you can ask it in the comments i would be happy to answer it